So I think one of the, the great opportunities in stem cell research is to be able to use engineering-based approaches to really tackle some of the major hurdles or obstacles in the field. Over the last few years, we've really been able to solve the problem in large part in stem cell biology of getting the cells we want. And the next hurdle is how do you put those cells that you've created in the right form and fashion to promote regenerative medicine? Uh, and th that really is an engineering problem. So I started my lab and career a little over 10 years ago at Georgia Tech. I chose to focus my lab on stem cell engineering. About two years ago now, Deepak Srivastava contacted me with a question about would I potentially be interested in considering uh, applying for this uh, CERM Research Leadership Award, which would give me an opportunity to move out here and, and join Gladstone. It takes a lot of resources to bring top people into the state, and I don't think we would have been able to recruit Todd without the great support that CERM gave us. You know, it was last December, our house was packed up, the lab was packed up, and then we flew out actually on Christmas Day with our two dogs. <laughs> it's been fantastic to have Todd here over the last year. The engineering mentality is different. It's more quantitative, and I think his sheer presence made us think about biology differently. The main things that our lab will help contribute will be in the areas of really establishing fundamental rules and principles that can be used to help create tissues from stem cell sources. Many of the physiological systems that we're interested in actually match well with the interests of the Gladstone Institute. So one of our primary ones has been in cardiac or heart muscle in particular. So we take the human stem cells and differentiate them into cardiomyocytes and build 3D tissues out of this so we get three-dimensional models of heart tissue. We can use some of the cells as cell-based therapies, as drug screening platforms, and we can learn a lot about just heart development. A more recent one has been in the nervous system with a focus primarily on spinal cord and how can we come up with the cell types and the organization that mimic the architecture and the function of the native spinal cord. It's really exciting when you see the data and although it studies in a mouse or in a culture dish, you can start to see how directly they would actually translate into meaningful therapies. So CERM funding has truly been transformational for myself and for the lab and our research. With the move and the opportunity to transplant what we were doing into this new environment has really been empowering for myself and for our research. I have no doubt that this was the, the best decision. The resources that have become available to us because of this move have been fantastic and really helped my research along. I think that the group that moved with me was absolutely key and critical to us successfully making this move, and they've really helped set the, the stage for McDevitt Lab 2.0 in terms of this next step of, of being here in California. To have all of them as jazzed up or excited about it as I am, that's just really invigorating, and I really, truly get excited coming in. <laughs>